Tim Amy, VBNSports.com, here with Ron Diaz, the man behind the whole ABC Border Bowl championships. How uh, how you liking what you're seeing so far? Well, I'm loving it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if the uh, young stars from Alberta are loving it. Uh, they had a tough game, but you know, uh, the, at the end of the day, we're we're seeing what the, you know what we want to see is the sharing of ideas and uh, terminology and football uh, philosophies uh, from uh, two bordering provinces. Now, uh, a lot of this for you, uh, you're a scout, so you're setting it for this is uh, for, for scouts pretty much across Canada, the different universities, junior BC football programs. Um, how does this help them find the players? How does this help the players connect with the scouts? Well, a number of ways. First off, I've been a, a, a scouting, uh, running a scouting uh, service for 32 years now, and every university coach uh, across uh, the, the desk knows who I am, whether it's St. Mary's University, University of Manitoba, University of Calgary, they know who Ron Dias is. So, uh, and I've been providing those reports for a lot of years to universities, ranking the players academically and athletically. So, uh, you know, I guess you could say I got a little bit of street cred in the, in, the, in, the, in the football business. And that allows when these kids, the great thing is you see these kids in the tryouts, you watch them in the insertion camps, and then you see them in a high level pressure game. And and, it, you know, I mean, if you can't uh, figure out uh, after a couple of minutes just watching a kid in a high-pressure game whether he can play or not, you know, you, you, know, I, you, you shouldn't be in the scouting business. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, any, real, uh, any names of kids uh, over the years that have come through the programs and uh, through your service that maybe made it to the CFL or in oh, high end CFL? Oh, God. I, you know, I... Uh, you know, you, you you ask me that question, and I, I, I always kind of downplay it a bit, but I think you could probably look at every CFL team and find seven, eight, nine Canadian players on those rosters that, uh, you know, I was heavily involved in, uh, you know, whether it was, uh, you know, a, a Justin Sorensen, you know, that everybody out here in BC knows very well from uh, Bellinas High School. Justin used to come to my football camps. I, you know, he, uh, you know, got to uh, work with a lot of coaches that uh, I dealt with, and that's how he uh, ended up at uh, South Carolina. And then, of course, he's translated that himself into, uh, you know, a nice little professional career. There's all kinds of them. Jerome uh, Erdman, I mean, not Jerome Erdman, but uh, Jerome Messam, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, I think of Keith Scholigan, the, the, the outstanding defensive tackle, uh, you know, with the, last year with the Ottawa Red Blacks, this year with uh, Winnipeg. It just goes on and on, the list of, of, of players that, uh, you know, uh, that are Canadian players that I've had, uh, you know, been able to, uh, been fortunate to allow me into their lives to help in one way or in the other. Now, we start at the Pee Wee level this morning. We go up to the midget level this afternoon. Of course, a lot of these kids go on to the CIS, the junior level, and some, like you mentioned, into the CFL. What's it like for you to see a kid start at Pee Wee and make it all the way to that CFL level and get himself a nice little career? Like, for you personally, what do you get? What do you get well, there's, there's a couple of things. Professionally, I look at it as, you know, as a kind of a challenge. I mean, I, you know, you, when you look at somebody and you see that guy, you know, you know he's got it. And then as long as he maintains the prescription through the years, you know, academically, athletically, off field, and then see him actually make it do, you know, you, it, it sort of says, hey, you know what, you know, you know you're know, you not bad at doing this, uh, you know, scouting thing. Uh, on a personal level, uh, there's, there's, you know, uh, you're always looking for the next player and the next group, and you're, and it's, so you get a very little spin time to enjoy, you know, where you sit back and you kind of go, oh, wow, look at that kid, you know, you're just because you're, you know, you're now dealing with the next, you know, uh, youngster, and, and, and when you mention about the young stars and the future stars years ago I used to just concentrate on the grade 11s and 12s you don't get to know the kids you don't get to know their character you don't know their in intestitude that they have inside them that drives them to to succeed or overcome obstacles and all those kind of things so when you get working with the younger kids now you know when they come into grade 10 grade 11 I know whether that guy's a player or not. There's just no doubt about it because you've watched him. It's like the grandparent that lives in Australia and sees the kid once a year and goes, "Oh my God, he's he's grown six inches," you know. And that you know, so you see that kind of thing with the kids, and I think that's really uh, is is helping uh, and and will help tremendously in the future uh, over the next ten years. A lot of these uh, young kids that I'm seeing today. Thank you very much, Ron Diaz. Tim Amy, VBNSports.com. Thank you, sir.